Hey everybody, uh, Sharon here. And first I wanted to say hello and I love you. I hope you are having a wonderful day. And one of the common themes that's been coming up recently that I wanted to speak to is this difficulty in change. And some of that difficulty is coming in the form of having um, challenges eliminating yourself from toxic and unhealthy exchanges and relationships with other individuals. And, you know, not that I'm advocating for us to dissolve relationships, and I definitely think that it is important for us to really look at all aspects of how we might be able to heal ourselves and heal things within ourselves so that we can come into the relationship in a better way. However, there are some aspects that there are just truly very clear unhealthy interactions and unhealthy uh, partnerships that we have established with other individuals that are becoming very challenging for individuals to be able to remove themselves from. And one of the reasons why is the thing that I want to speak into today, which is the fact that there is a nervous system regulation that coincides with your being in the presence of, or even thinking about, or being in the cycle of a unhealthy or toxic relationship. And so what tends to happen is that, you know, our bodies and our brains are wired for sameness. So any time that um, even though something might be, uh, have an unhealthy outcome over the long term, for the short term, our bodies and our brains are constantly looking for that sameness to continue. And it's looking, especially if you've experienced trauma, it's looking and it's scanning for the thing that's the threat. And so what happens is that the body sees difference and change as a threat. So when you go to remove yourself from an unhealthy habit, behavior, relationship, interaction, or whatever it might be, there is going to be an initial kind of activation that sends you into panic or in some way your body goes into a state of panic that says, this isn't good. Let's not change this. Let's go back to what we know. Let's go back to what's normal. And it continues to perpetuate that same cycle, which in the end has very unhealthy consequences. But for the short term, it appears as though there is a mm, intuitive uh, hit that you should stay in this relationship. Where, so, so that. <laughs> but it's also important to realize that there is a big difference between our innate intelligence and our intuition and the nervous system response that we're receiving because we have been, for whatever reason and however it happened, programmed to be wired for that continuation of this unhealthy cycle. So the best thing to do is to be a aware of the fact that this is even a thing and that once you're aware of it and you've made your decision that you want to create some change, realize that the first time and the second time and sometimes the third time and even up to nine times, you're going to experience some resistance from your mm, will. And your will is going to want you to go back to what it was. And that's all because that's how our entire nervous systems and sympathetic nervous systems and brains are wired. So we cannot create new pathways and we cannot create change by doing things exactly the same way. We have to incorporate and embrace change and all of the aspects that change brings us when we go into effectively then um, meeting the change with action and then ultimately helping to work ourselves through the response from the change reaction. So I hope this really helps you, especially for anybody who is looking to really change and break some cycles that have been within them their own 
uh, scope, as well as maybe even within their family lineages, it's never going to be super, super easy, especially when we're changing something that has a lot of momentum and that has been there for a long time. But ultimately, it's going to actually create the healthy consequence and healthy outcome that you'd like once you actually start to teach yourself your new normal. So I wish you so much success, so much love, and I look forward to the next time.